Okay guys, this is just a quick update on my system. I've still got the two turbines. I have the, the latest addition which is another one of these babies which is a 140 watt solar panel which you can buy from my sites. I've got a few of these and they're extremely good. That's another one there. So that is basically another 140 watts and that's another 140 watts. The little one here is a 40 watt and the top one is a 50 watt. Now we'll go inside and see another little update that I've done. Basically what I'm doing here, so this is a complete and utter mess. I will need to sort of this out but before I'll show you this. At the moment the panels I'm using the panels to make this, which is going to be a nice cup of coffee. Um, it's a quite a cloudy day, but this this is basically connected. I'm using this at the moment to connect that to my WhatsApp meter. Usually, the WhatsApp meter is connected to that socket there because it's the big wind turbine and it tells me what's happening. But I want to see what exactly what the panels are doing today. Um, and you can basically, if you first turn like this here for two or three seconds, you'll actually see what's happening here. There's obviously a cloud that's going to in front of the panels. You can see how quickly it rises up. If you look at the amps, it goes up to about 230, I think it is. I mean, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, so I'm actually quite happy with it due to the fact, as you can see, the voltage on the battery is going up. And I'm uh, basically making a coffee, which is basically this little 12 volt kettle. That'll make me a coffee and a cup of tea for my wife. And that's pretty much it. At the moment, the solar panels are not connected to that, to the charge controller. I just got it like this so I can actually show you the power that they, that they produce 204 watts. The little, the little panels are connected to this baby here. So that's basically with the 204 watts. You obviously got a bit of line loss. It's from here, the 140 watts, or is this one here? The new one, which is basically there. That's the new one. I still got to put it in place somewhere. It's a beautiful panel. So is this one. You can buy these from windchasers.eu. Okay. But the latest thing that I've been doing at the moment, basically what's happening was the powers during the day, all that power was coming in and it was just, um, I wasn't, it wasn't really being used. So as you can see it's 208 watts being produced, almost uh, 16 amps. And the battery voltage is obviously is going up 1350, 13, so I'm going to have to turn this off soon. But before that, what I'd like to talk to you about is um, my latest addition, which is a 600 watts grid tide power inverter. Now, there's lots of different inverters in the market. This one here is just a standard um, modifying sine wave inverter. Good for most things, but computers and what have you, really sort of sensitive equipment, you'll then need something like this. This one here. This is a 1000 watts, 2000 watts peak pure sine wave inverter. So this will power most things. You see this little tool? I'll turn that on. I'll turn this on. There's a little bit of a delay. And hopefully it'll kick in. There you go. So that's... That makes this through. You know, basically I can use it. I use it sometimes for the garden. But that's a pure sine wave. That's modifying. That's a modified one, but this is a grid tie. Now what happens with the grid tie is, I'll actually show you what happens with this pretty soon. Um, I just want to see if, I'm, if this is boiled or not. It's getting to that stage, but while I do, I'll come back to this. I'm going to hook this up. So basically what I'll do now, I'll just disconnect this. I'll just disconnect the kettle. I'll come back for it. So I'll disconnect this thing here. I'll connect that to 
this one here, as you can see I'm using plugs for everything, all the solar panels it, it just makes it easier while I'm testing things, all the solar panels, the big ones big ones there and the little one there, 40 watts I think it is that's all connected to that then that goes on to my pure sine wave inverter and then from there I need to then, if, once I plug this in, I'm basically connected to the mains okay now that's the wattage going in by the way for the last sort of week and a half I think it was that's 15 kilowatts or 15,510 uh, watts there you go, the watches is going up okay so um, I've seen peaks of uh, close to 200 watts which I'm quite happy with due to the fact that um, uh, we've got a little bit of a cloud there but basically I'm going to show you something what happens is so this is now powering everything that's going on in my house the fridge computers the whole lot um, and basically what happens is the meter doesn't actually spin back because it's a new digital that's my new little puppy Casey good girl she's been in the river five months old <laughs> she's tired okay so what happens is this I'm going to show you this I'm going to show you this quite quickly these are numbers what these numbers actually represent to me is that every every sort of day I mean I've got like fish tanks I've got everything pretty much on uh, the fridge the ovens you know the, the whole lot on and, and what happens is if you look at now my meter which is basically here you'll see that there's this little red light here that's on now while that that power inverter is on this is not moving as you can see 64 so we still got a load in the house being used by the fridge I've got two laptops going um, but basically all in all it doesn't really consume more than 200 watts which is what I'm producing in the moment so in the old meter what I think would have happened is all that extra power will make the meter turn backwards you know we got the disc that goes forward that meter will probably go backwards where this one here it just stops the light is on I know I know that that's not moving at all and if I look at the numbers you know if I look at the numbers um, you know I, I basically what I do I, I, in the mornings about half seven eight o'clock I write down the numbers there and this um, it basically allows me to to see what, what, what exactly is happening here see it's not moving if you look at the 64 that should be moving every now and again you'll get a little, a little flash it's like every 100 watts that you consume you should get a little flash but because I'm producing it it just stops and it'll stay like that for the rest of the day and if there's wind at night time it'll still stay like that so I am grid tied obviously I'm just putting in 200 or so watts but it's it's good because I'm basically every little bit of um, power that, that those solar panels use or produce I mean uh, is being used by my household that's a solar can heater also works okay guys and that's pretty much it so I've got all them I'm gonna keep like data anyway and hopefully sorry I'm trying to see there's laptops being used there's you know we're still using everything that we need there's a, a, a TV also being used and stuff but it just even even when I go over the 200 watts or whatever it is that the thing is producing it what, what then happens is the um, uh, that's my three little panels well they're not little but they're they're nice I love those panels okay guys so that's the another update I'm basically now grid tied I'm making coffees for free, the whole, you know, the whole shebang. That's 600 watts grid pipe power inverter.